Welcome back. In this video, we will look at the second concept that is mirror, flip and a rotate image. Mirror, rotate or flip image. So these are another set of examples which you will find under pictorial arithmetic where the students would be asked to ref reflect how a mirror or an image which is flipped or rotate would be seen. Now, things to keep in mind with such kind of question is, again, there is only one right answer. The position changes when you look at a mirror image. Something which is on the right hand side in a mirror image, we'll see it on the left hand side. Likewise, the left becomes right. Same goes with the direction. A clockwise direction would, under a mirror image, would be shown as anti-clockwise and an anti-clockwise direction under a mirror image would be shown as clockwise. So if you keep these two aspects in your mind, it is very easy to imagine how a mirror image would look like. My strongest recommendation to you students would be to ensure you make notes on a paper to be precise while answering um, a problem. It is not necessary to always mentally remember things and try and solve. Sometime writing down notes can also be helpful. Let's look at this question from 2014. This is for three points. Mr. Brown painted some flowers on the store window. See picture on the right. What do these flowers look like from the other side of the window? So the hidden message here is the person is trying to look at the flower from the other side of the window, which means it's a reverse image. So let's compare how the reverse image looks like. In an actual image, this flower, which is on the left hand side, in the reverse image, it goes on the right hand side. Even the leaf, which is on the left hand side, reverses to the right hand side. If you look at the other flower, which is on the right hand side, it goes on the left hand side, the black one. Okay, so the center flower remains in the center. This is how exactly a reverse image would look like. Now, keeping in mind how a reverse image would look like, I will go ahead and start eliminating the wrong answers. Answer B is eliminated because this is very similar to the actual image. The two answers which are very close to each other is answer A and answer E. Now with such mirror image uh, based questions you will always find two of the answers very similar but if you remember that there is only one right answer you will evaluate the image further to find out which is the right one. So if you look at A and compare it with image E you would see that these black spots here, the three black spots, probably this is the leaf of this plant. For this plant, it is curving downwards, whereas for image E, it's curving upwards, which matches with the actual image where these three uh, leaf um, or the dots which is suggested as a leaf to this flower is turning upwards. So I will go with option E as my right answer. Question 9, year 2014. What does Pipo the Clown see when he looks at himself in the mirror? So this is a very straightforward question. It's asking you to choose the mirror reverse image from the five options provided. So let's look at, at the reverse image. And let's evaluate. The flower which is on the right hand side in the reverse image is shifted on the left. The 
curve here on the clown's hat is tilting in the clockwise direction. In the reverse image, it will be shown as anti-clockwise. If you look at those two colors, there are four and three dots. Now, this will interchange its position in the reverse image. image. The three dot color, which is on the right hand side, will be seen on the left hand side. Also, one thing which you need to notice is, in actual image, the clown is looking in the right direction. In the reverse image, the clown it would be looking in the left direction. Now, keeping the reverse image in our mind, let's evaluate the provided answer. Option B and option E, both of them are looking in the right direction. Even if in option B, the flower is shifted to the left side, it is still not the right um, answer because here the clown is looking in the right direction, which is what we should not see in a reverse image. So I'm going to scratch out option B and option E. That's not my answer. I will also scratch out option C because the flower is still in the right direction. So that's not my answer. Now option A and option D are quite similar. Now this is where the third condition applies. The three circle changes its position with the four circle. If you look at option A, the three circle is on the left hand side which was right in the original image. However, in option D, the three circle on the collar continues to be on the right hand side. So I'll eliminate option D and the right answer would be option A. Let's look at one more question here. Question 17 for year 2016. When the transparent card is turned on its right edge, the result can be seen in the picture to the right. So it seems the transparent card was here. It was turned to right edge and this is how the mirror, uh, image looks like. What will we see when this card is turned over to its upper edge? So if this is put back here, upper edge, how would it look like? And we have five options. Now let's, let's get what the implied message is from this question. Card is placed on its upper edge. That means I have to flip it vertically to put the card here. Card is turned over. That means it's a reverse image. If it's a reverse image, my the black part of this card should be on the right hand side because this is on the left hand side. And if I see that, that is available only for option D. This is when I flip vertically and place it here. If I reverse that is turn over this card, it looks like this, which is option D. So my answer is option D. Now let's look at this five pointer question, question 24 for year 2016. Five sparrows sit on a branch as shown in the figure. Each sparrow trips the same number of times as the number of sparrows it sees. For example, David trips three times. Then one sparrow turns to look in the opposite direction. Again, each of the sparrow trips the same number of time as the number of sparrow it sees. This time, the total number of trips 
is more than the first time. Which of the sparrow turned to look in the opposite direction? So this is a five pointer question and you can see it's almost like a para. There are far too many sentences and there are far too many conditions on how the sparrow turned and what happens when they turn and how the counting is done. It is important to read the question properly and make notes of what you understand so that you can apply in finding the right answer. So these are implied messages. The first one is each sparrow trips the same number of times as the number of sparrows it sees, which means the number of tripping is equal to number of sparrows are seen in the direction this, the said sparrow is seen. Not necessary the sparrow is facing each other. Okay, so this is important to note. Now, if you look at David, it says that David trips three times. So he has three sparrow when he's looking in the left direction. Even if Bata, who is not looking in the David direction, she might not see David, but David will see her because he's looking towards her direction. They are not facing each other. So this is the implied message which you need to understand. Now let's evaluate and see how to get to the right answer. Originally, let's count and see how many birds are tripping. Let's start with David. Now they have given that David trips three times. That's he sees Charlie, Bertha, Angel, three of them. Igilo does four times. He has four birds in his direction. One, two, three, and four. Angela also trips four times because she is looking at the right direction. She is at the far end of this chain and she sees all four of them. Berta, Charlie, David, Aguilo. For Berta, since she is looking in one direction and there is only one bird, she, we will count one ship in her account and for Charlie we will count these two birds as two chips. So if we add this total it comes to 14 chips. Now the question is find out which sparrow turned her position which increases the total number of chipping. Now when you have this question and the condition is that the total number of chips has to go up. So if we want to increase the number of chips, what is exactly you will look after? You are not going to touch the birds who has higher number. For example, Angela, David and Igilo. Yeah? I will pick the lowest chip from my original statement which is Berta. So Berta is looking in this direction that's why she can see only Angela. If she moves towards right she, she will see three of the birds sitting there which will increase my total tally. So this is Berta where she is looking towards right. And if we count the score now, so Berta's score increases to 3. Now if we add 3 instead of 1 in this original score, the score will definitely increase and that's what the question is about. It will increase to 16. So to find out which bird can move, which bird rotated her side to increase the shape, I will select Berta. Answer is B.